Safety on the road is not limited to just motorists alone. It is a collective responsibility and it begins with respect every road user. Passengers, pedestrians, motorcyclists, bicycle riders, cat pushers, traffic ma managers, hawkers and even animals. The Federal Road Safety Corporation reported that between January and March 2022, there were 3,345 road traffic accidents in Nigeria, involving 24,192 persons, and this resulted in 1,834 deaths. Today, I'll be talking about road safety tips. One of the ways to ensure your safety is to know the road signs and understand what they mean in your community or your locality. Road signs can be divided into three broad categories, regulatory, warning, and informative road signs. Regulatory signs can either be prohibitive or mandatory. Regulatory signs, prohibitive road signs are to discourage you from taking an action. They usually circular in shape with a yellow or white background, a black inscription and a red border. Examples are the no parking, do not enter, and the one way sign. The stop sign is the only prohibitive sign that is octagon in shape. On the other hand, mandatory road signs provide positive instruction. They usually have a blue background, a white inscription, and sometimes a white border. Examples include the keep right, the keep left signs. Warning signs, on the other hand, are usually triangular in shape. They have a yellow or white background, a black inscription, and a red border. The one road users about what is ahead or they give instructional warning about a certain situation. Example is the railway crossing. The only warning sign with an inverted triangle is the yield or the give way sign. Informative road signs are usually triangular in shape. They have a green background and they provide guardian, guidance or information to road users about specific places, the direction, the destination, road facilities, speed limits, road conditions, distance for particular areas, and at times road construction sites. As much as possible, pedestrians should always walk on the pavement or a suitable footpath. Walk on the side of the road facing the oncoming traffic rather than backing the traffic. If you are walking in a group, ensure you keep to the extreme right of the road. If you are to cross in Lagos, always look forward and backwards in addition to looking left and right. At night, you should help others see you. Wear or carry something light colored, bright or fluorescent. When you have to cross the road at night, do it near a street or security light so that motorists can see you more easily. As a motorist, when you approach a zebra crossing, slow down and stop if anyone has stepped on the sign. Before you step on the zebra crossing as a pedestrian, give motorists sufficient time to see you and stop. Remember that vehicles will need more time when the road is slippery. The rules about the use of phones on the road is not just limited to drivers. Avoid listening to music with your earpiece or having a conversation when walking. These activities will make you distracted and you might not be able to hear and respond appropriately and swiftly when the need arises. Take care of your car so it can take care of you. Before you set out, check the level of water in your radiator, check your engine oil, your fan belt and your tires. A quick acronym for this is WAFT, W for water, O for oil, F for fan belt and C for your tires. If it sounds funny, it is most likely funny. Like most things, tires have an expiry date. Every tire has a four digit number on it, which states the week and year it was manufactured. Example, 5218 means the tire was manufactured in the 52nd week of 2018 and it will expire in December 2022. Most of us rely on roadside side technicians to determine the pressure of our tires. Unfortunately, most of them are more ignorant than we are. The correct pressure of your tire is found on the side of your driver's door on your car's manual. If you cannot find it there, the average is 30 to 35 PSI. Remember, children are very curious. They will always seek opportunities to explore. If you have children in the car, open the back or rear door and look for where the child lock is and activate it. It is on the rear door because children are not expected to sit in the front 
or the driver's seat of a car. Regardless of how careful you are, you cannot predict when your car will develop a fault on the road. Ensure you have a good and functional spare tire, a functional jack, two caution signs, a fire extinguisher that is placed in an easily accessible place in your car, e.g. under the driver or the passenger seat. If riding a bicycle, use an helmet. Hold on to the handle bar firmly and keep your feet on the pedals. Do not hold on to another vehicle or another cyclist and avoid riding too close behind another vehicle or carrying a passenger if your cycle is not built for that purpose. One of the most important information on our driver's license is our blood group. In the event of an accident that requires blood transfusion, the wrong blood group can be the difference between life and death. Take advantage of your health insurance today to confirm your blood group and ensure it is right on your driver's license. As road users, our overall health is very important. Do not ignore your routine health checks, especially your sight, your blood pressure and blood sugar. If you ever need to use a neck collar, do not drive. And if a driver is wearing one, do not enter the car. Is your sense of judgment might be impaired. Be courteous to other road users. By saying thank you or acknowledging them when they give a turn, this will make the road a more pleasant and an harmonious experience for everybody. This will indeed go a long way in making our roads safer for everybody. Thank you. I'm open to your questions and your comments.